Hello friends, welcome to GMAT point. Today we are going to discuss about one of the resources GMAT point is offering to the GMAT aspirants. So today we are going to discuss about the daily targets that GMAT point is offering. First, what are daily targets? Daily targets are small GMAT tests that have five questions each. Every day of the week from Monday to Friday, you will be able to attempt one test. Each test sticks to only one topic, for example statistics, maybe one test will be on probability, maybe one on averages. If you keep giving these tests over a few days, you will cover all the topics that GMAT tests in the quantitative review section. Once the test is over, you can refer to the detailed solutions to cover up for any concept that you might be missing. These tests are completely free and you only need to log in to GMAT point and take the test. The links to GMAT point and the links to the daily targets will be provided in the description section of this video. So this was all about daily targets. Uh, let's see why you should take daily targets. Being a GMAT aspirant, how will daily targets help you achieve your dream score? First, the daily targets, as I already mentioned, they are in the form of an examination. So there will be an interface which is very similar to an exam interface. There will be a timer that will be tracking the time going on. In GMAT, you are asked uh, 31 quant questions in 62 minutes. So basically, you are given 2 minutes per question. In these tests as well, we have tried to keep the ratio same. For 5 questions, you are given 10 minutes. Plus, you will be given marks at the end of the test to uh, let you know how far and how well you are going on with the preparation. Second, there is a great mix of questions. Often students who are starting their GMAT preparation after giving other MBA exams like uh, CAT or Z, often they are very much used to problem solving questions, but they do not have the necessary skill set required to solve the data sufficiency questions and they often tend to struggle in that data sufficiency questions. So while designing these daily targets, we have made sure that there is a greater emphasis on data sufficiency questions. Having said that, there are also an ample amount of problem solving questions as well so that you can get a feel of how the mix of the questions can actually affect your examination temperament. Third, most of these questions are high quality questions and they will fall under the bracket of Q48 to Q51. However, there are a few questions which are relatively on the easier side. So there are a lot of high quality questions and practicing these questions will give you an edge over the other aspirants. Elaborate explanations. Well, you solve five questions, you get two right, you get three wrong. It doesn't make sense if you uh, don't know elaborately which concept you missed or why you got them wrong. So here, once you are done with your test, immediately you will be able to access the elaborate explanations. There are certain video explanations as well. However, all questions don't have video explanations, but they will have detailed text explanations. You can refer to them to see which concept you are missing or a concept in which you are not very strong in. And you can plan out your further preparation based on the same. Fifth, topic wise questions. Uh, what do I mean by topic wise questions? As already mentioned when I was explaining what DTs are, I already mentioned that the questions are topic wise. So suppose in today's DT, you are given questions on triangles. In tomorrow's DT, you are given questions on polygons. Uh, on Friday, you are given questions on ratios. So each day, we will focus on only one topic. How does this help you? This helps you get a good mix of questions from one topic. So suppose you think that ratio is an area that you should work on. You can give the DT on ratios and you can actually benefit a lot from those five high quality questions that ratio has in the DT. Sixth, the closeness to the GMAT. The standards and the difficulty index these questions have are very close to the standards that are tested in the GMAT. Well, GMAT tests a wide variety of questions from varied difficulty levels. We have tried to uh, maintain the same in our question sets. The topics that are tested are very much close to GMAT. The question types, they are also the exact same that GMAT tests and you will get a good feel of the examination, the questions that the GMAT tests before you actually sit for the original examination. The next point, GMAT is known for testing your fundamentals your basics, the underlying concepts rather than testing how good you are in calculations. We have kept that in mind while designing the DTs and we make sure that the questions are mostly conceptual 
and they are not very calculation intensive. Obviously, a certain degree of calculations will be involved in solving the questions, but we have made sure that the emphasis is on the concepts and not on the calculation part of solving the questions. Next point is habit formation. Well, you might uh, think that this is not as important uh, considering a test, an examination in mind, but you are wrong. Actually, habit formation is very important in tests like the GMAT. So, suppose that you are giving the DTs which uh, are there for 5 days a week. Suppose you are solving these questions 5 days a week regularly for about 1 month, 2 months, 3 months until you give the actual GMAT. This keeps the habit in place. So, if you are a working professional and you don't get to study for about 2 weeks time, but if you keep giving these tests, these takes hardly 10 minutes. If you keep giving these tests, the habit will stay in place and you won't be out of practice. This is what I meant by habit formation and this will help you a lot while you are taking the actual GMAT. Cover all concepts. This is for someone who is not yet done with all the topics. So, if you are preparing for the GMAT, uh, if you have started with the preparation but not yet ended with the basics and underlying concepts, this is a good way to uh, reach the end point of your preparation because we have covered all the concepts. If you take these DTs over an extended period of time, you will get a good exposure to a large number of questions from each and every topic and in the process, this will make sure that all the concepts that the GMAT tests are covered for you. Now, this is for someone who is already towards the end of the preparation. If you are done with your GMAT preparation and you are looking forward to practice a good number of questions, DT comes uh, to assist you. As I already mentioned, the questions in the daily targets are uh, very high quality questions and most of them lie in the 48 to 51 bracket. So, if you have completed your preparation and you just want to fine tune your preparation by practicing a few set of questions every day, DT will be the best thing that can help you out in this uh, situation. Well, this is very important. It takes just 10 minutes a day. It doesn't matter when you are giving it, take it early morning, take it in the evening, take it late night. Doesn't matter. Just make sure that you set aside 10 minutes a day and give these DTs because 10 minutes a day won't uh, seem much to you, but these 10 minutes when they multiply over uh, periods of days, months, this will actually help you a lot in uh, increasing your GMAT scores to your target score. Tricky questions. There are a lot of questions that actually come in the 50 to 51 bracket. When you are actually playing in that place, you are in 50 and you are reaching 51 mark. Well, uh, for people who are new to GMAT, 51 is the highest mark that you can achieve in this uh, GMAT examination for quants. When you achieve a Q51, that is the highest scaled score that you can achieve. So, when you are actually playing in that 50-51 range, you are given a lot of tricky questions where they set a trap or they uh, give the question in such a manner where you are bound to make a mistake despite you knowing the concept beforehand. So, we have tried to include a lot of questions of similar nature so that you do not get caught off guard when you are actually setting for the examination. Well, we have kept the best thing for the last. GMAT daily targets are completely free. You do not need to pay anything for daily targets. All you need to do is go to GMAT point, uh, log in. If you have not logged in yet, you can just sign up to GMAT point and you can visit it every day to give the daily targets. Well, this was why you need to take GMAT daily targets. Daily targets are a very important resource that Kraku uh, and GMAT point is providing to GMAT aspirants. So, since this is completely free and there are a ton of advantages that these daily targets have, make sure that you at least check them out, set for one or two daily targets and once you set for these, you will automatically get the feel of it and continue uh, for the further daily targets. So, this was all for this video. Make sure you check out the daily targets, check out the link for GMAT point and the daily targets and other GMAT uh, preparation blogs in the description section of this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.